there are many statistical tools that help us in studying data and the normal curve is one of those. The normal curve, also called the Gaussian distribution or the normal distribution, is a fundamental concept in statistics that helps us understand and analyze various phenomena, including human traits, test scores, and even dental health data. When data is collected from a very large number of people and a frequency distribution is made with a narrow class interval, the resulting curve is a smooth and symmetrical curve, which is the normal curve. Here, the class interval refers to the numerical width of any class in a particular distribution. In a normal curve, as you can see, the central point is indicative of the mean value of the particular distribution. On either side of the mean are sets of standard deviations. Standard deviation is a quantity that measures the dispersion or variability of a set of data points within a population, providing information about the spread of values around the mean. The area between one standard deviation on either side of the mean will include approximately 68% of the values collected by the data. The area between two standard deviations on either side of the mean will include approximately 95% of the values and lastly, the area between three standard deviations on either side of the mean will include approximately 99.7% of the values. The limits on either side of the mean are known as confidence limits. Now, note that there might be many normal curves like the negatively and positively skewed curves. Skewness measures the asymmetry of a distribution. A negatively skewed curve is characterized by a longer tail on the left side with the majority of data concentrated on the right. This indicates that the distribution is pulled towards higher values and few extremely low values are present. Conversely, a positively skewed curve has a longer tail on the right side with most of its data concentrated on the left. This suggests that the distribution is pulled towards lower values and few extremely high values are present. Now, for a moderately skewed distribution, there exists a relation between mean, median, and mode. This mean, median, and mode relationship is known as the empirical relationship, which is defined as mode is equal to the difference between 3 times the median and 2 times the mean. However, there is only one standard normal curve. It's a bell-shaped curve which is perfectly symmetrical based on an infinitely large number of observations. The maximum number of observations is at the mean and the number of observations gradually decreases on either side with very few observations at the extreme points. Remember that the total area under the curve is always 1, its mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1 again. Additionally, here all three measures of central tendency, the mean, median and mode, coincide. In cases where the mean is greater than twice the standard deviation, it indicates that the value is normally distributed. In conclusion, understanding the normal curve is crucial in public health dentistry. It allows us to analyze data, make predictions, and develop appropriate interventions and treatments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.